Greetings, families. Welcome back. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. We are in Côte d'Ivoire once again. Let's finish Côte d'Ivoire, then move on. If this is your first time, my name is Mamri, and you are very welcome. My returning subscribers, my new ones, and those who are passing by, my families, I'm so grateful for you to be here. Thank you for your contributions, sharing the videos, super chatting, and everything. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you all. Yes, as uh, Côte d'Ivoire has received a visitor from Germany, not only Germany, Canadians has also ascended on them. Or is it descended on them? Well, <laughs> yes, they are also there in, um, to form a relationship, as we all know, that's how they come. Then I remember I made a video here when Canada brought a cake to Burkina Faso to celebrate and they cut the cake. And I was saying that that cake does not have Burkina Faso flag on it. It only has Canadian flag, even though they said they are best friends. Something is happening. Yes, it, it seems like all of them are now moving. If you are, you don't get what you want, then you move to the next neighbor to, you know, manipulate them, confuse them in the name of aid and everything, schools, building schools for them. Hmm, let's listen to her as well. I think it was PLO Lumumba that says that anytime they are sending their delegate to Africa, most of the time they send women because <laughs> they can be looking at them and then they get confused. Then they sign the document. Let's listen. I'll be back, my people. Thank you so much for your time. Senate of Côte d'Ivoire and Raymond Delgagne president of the Canadian Senate. The smile of the two personalities translates the joy of the reunion. The president is on a working visit to Côte d'Ivoire. And a tete-a-tete -tete supports the working session with senators from both countries and parliamentary administration officials. Not to mention the Côte d'Ivoire ambassador to Canada and the Canadian ambassador to Côte d'Ivoire. At the end of the meeting, the president of the upper house of the Ivorian parliament outlined the outlook. I'd like to point out that this is my first visit to Africa, and this first visit starts with Côte d'Ivoire. And through the Senate of Côte d'Ivoire, right here in Yamasucro, we gave an overview. First of all, we talked about the excellent bilateral relations that exist between Côte d'Ivoire, our country and Canada. These relations have existed since 1962. Canada has very, very extensive experience since the Senate of Canada was created in 1860. You can tell how happy they are, all of them are. She brought a lot of delegates, a lot of documents to sign between them. It's a win-win situation for them. Yeah, we wait and see. You know when somebody's house is burning and instead of you helping quench the fire and you said, oh no, I don't care. It's none of my business. The person who said the fire they can come to my house and be my friend. I don't care because I have not done anything to annoy them to set fire on my house. Be careful what you wish for. It is nice to see them do dancing. And we will record this and we will keep it for in future references as we all do here. It was no long ago when they were in Burkina Faso celebrating their relation since 19 something that they are friends. And I was saying that all this time they are friends and Burkina Bays are suffering. The Alliance of Sahel are suffering and they don't even come to help. Or even if they come, they haven't helped them. But they are now coming to build schools. They are now humanitarian need for what? If you don't have peace, as the Prime Minister of Burkina Faso said, if you don't have peace, all those things are not needed. It's not necessary. You have to have peace. So now they are in Côte d'Ivoire, and that's the first country she has visited. I'm wondering which country would be the next that she will go. Let's wait and see. Please listen to the next video, and I'll be back. Thank you for your time. Selves. 
The president of the Canadian Senate says she is happy to be in Côte d'Ivoire and intends to contribute to the development of relations between the two countries. You are the land of hospitality, and I'm simply going to tell you that I've experienced it. I've felt it, and I'm taking home precisely this fine quality that you're able to pass on to us. And for us, it's extremely important to be able to. Ensuring that the educational foundations are in place to enable us to exchange best practices, research and even workforce training. I would also like to stress that bilateral trade between countries is extremely important. If we have a base in education, we can also exchange in international trade as well as in art and culture. Who should be valued? 13,000 Ivorians currently live in Canada. This working visit marks the beginning of a permanent framework between Yamasukro and Ottawa on parliamentary issues. A rebel coalition and a jihadist group. Yes, you can tell everything went on well. They were all dancing. They were jubilating. Great. It is good for them. If you are Côte d'Ivoire and you came across this video, please leave a comment. Let's see. Let's hear your opinion of what is going on between your neighbors. And I'm aware, I'm aware that Germany is in Ghana. Last year, they sent a lot of ammunition, a lot of avocats to Ghana uh, to help Ghana protect them from terrorists. I'm aware they are there. And right now that they are in Cote d'Ivoire, so I'm sure they, are, they were there already, but they just want to, you know, make it a base like they were in Niger, uh, Mali and Burkina Faso. They want to make it a proper base. This base, who will it benefit? We all know who it will benefit. And uh, I'll come back uh, with what is going on in Mali or what went on in Mali. Um, during the weekend, I tried hard to search for the right source of news about what went on because other channels were saying a lot of things anyway i'll be back my family just leave comments like the video it helps a lot share it if possible thank you all for your time thank you and your contribution because i'm learning a lot from you as well i'm just a vessel that i've learned myself to be used to be uh, sending these messages out but without you i cannot do it so thank you so so much for your time god bless you all and i'll be back very soon <laughs>